Betelgeuse, located in the constellation Orion, is one of the most recognizable stars in the sky. Its vibrant red hue and prominent position have made it a favorite for stargazers and astronomers alike. But what makes Betelgeuse truly intriguing is his mysterious behavior. Astronomers call it a variable star because it pulsates, expanding and contracting in size over time. This pulsation causes the star's brightness to fluctuate, sometimes making it one of the brightest stars in the sky, and at other times decreasing significantly. Now, Betelgeuse is a true giant, with a diameter more than a thousand times that of our sun. If we were to place it at the center of our solar system, it would wrap around the inner planets, including Earth, and reach as far as Jupiter. Its immense size and mass make it a red supergiant star nearing the end of its life. Yes, this gigantic star is dying, but that's not what intrigues us. Stars die all the time. What has kept astronomers on their toes is Betelgeuse's dimming. In late 2019 and early 2020, the star experienced an unprecedented dimming event, losing a significant portion of its brightness. This aroused speculation and curiosity among scientists around the world. Various theories arose to explain Betelgeuse's dimming, but one possibility stood out and was later confirmed as correct by the Hubble Space Telescope. Based on the Hubble data, the scientists found that the star had ejected a huge cloud of dust that partially obscured its light from our perspective. However, the star has not dimmed since February 2020, and has not repeated its cycle since. What we do know is that, as the star recovered from the ejection of a large amount of its interior in late 2019, in an event known as the Great Dimming, its surface is now bouncing like jelly off a plate, and has lost the natural 400-day heartbeat that has been around for at least two centuries. Yes, Betelgeuse is still acting very strange and looking to the future, he will eventually reach the end of his life and explode in a bright supernova. But when that will happen, no one knows for sure, except for a team of scientists. And according to them, the explosion could be happening right now as you see this, or very close in the future. If astronomers had to guess which nearby star will be next to go supernova in the Milky Way, they might bet on Betelgeuse. The bright red supergiant star that marks Orion's shoulder, and is near the end of its life, less than 1,000 kilometers away. Light years from Earth, but how close is it to going supernova and will we be here to witness it? Normally, astronomers suggest that it could explode in the next 100,000 years, which is early in cosmic terms but not in human terms, and that's somewhat disappointing. However, our calculations may have been wrong and the spectacle could unfold before our naked eyes at any moment. A new study by Hideyuki Seo and colleagues at Tohoku University in Japan claims that the star may be further along in its evolution and much closer to exploding than we thought. But how do they claim this? They are the pulsations of the star. It turns out that Betelgeuse is unstable, breathing regularly with overlapping overtones. Following its brightness over the last century, astronomers have noted changes in periods of 2,200 days, 420 days, 230 days, and 185 days. Typically, astronomers consider the 420-day up-and-down cycle as the main pulsation, and the shorter cycles as overtones. The 2,200-day or six-year period is not generally considered part of these pulsations, and is instead called the long secondary period, a feature of unknown origin common to one-third of supergiant stars. If the 420-day period is the main one, then Betelgeuse would have the range of 800 to 900 suns lined up in a row. If it were placed in the solar system, it would almost reach the orbit of Jupiter. However, Seo and his colleagues believe this may be an understatement. If the 2200-day cycle is the main one and all the others are overtones, then the star would be even more massive, spanning 1200 suns and still wider than the orbit of Jupiter. In keeping with its larger size, the star would be even further along in its life cycle. 
Stars like Betelgeuse lie big and fast. Like the sun, they begin by emitting light by fusing hydrogen to helium in their cores, but quickly switch to fusing helium to carbon. The carbon then burns to create other, heavier elements around the core, while the lighter elements burn in layers, causing the star to expand outward like a balloon of hot plasma. SEO and his colleagues use computer simulations to watch stars evolve from birth to old age, then calculate the pulsations they should see at each stage. They find that the four pulsations, from the 2200-day cycle to the 185-day cycle, can be explained by a star breathing in the late stages of carbon burning. After the carbon in the core is depleted, a core collapse leading to a supernova explosion is expected within a few decades, the researchers write. But when will carbon run out? It's hard to say because the pulsation periods don't change much at this late stage. It is not possible to estimate exactly how much carbon is left in the core today, says SEO. We only guess that the time to carbon depletion is likely to be less than a few hundred years. So, to put some things in perspective, the research group is not saying that Betelgeuse will explode tomorrow or even in the next decade. The researchers claim is that Betelgeuse would explode a thousand years from now instead of 10,000 or 100,000. The 2200 day pulsation also creates other problems. Spectroscopic measurements show that the star's surface is expanding and contracting at a rate of about 1.5 kilometers per second. If the star is breathing at this rate over the 2200 day period, its overall diameter would be changing 180 times the size of the sun in each cycle. Even for astronomers, that's a lot. Furthermore, the 2200-day pulsation would also affect the pulsation of the overtones. For example, the 400-day cycle would not always be 400 days. As the star expands to its full size, this overtone would lengthen. In the same way, when the star contracts, it would shorten. You would expect these changes to repeat themselves consistently in each 2200-day cycle, McLeod says, and I don't think we'll see evidence of that in Betelgeuse's long-term light curve, which varies more randomly around the typical 400-day cycle. Now, for those of you who don't know, when a star runs out of hydrogen, the helium starts burning to form carbon, which causes the star to expand. As all the fuel is burned and the remaining elements do not form fuel under their own weight, the core collapses to form a solid neutron star, which then bounces off the surrounding gas to form a supernova. Betelgeuse is a red superstar with an age of at least 8 million years. It is believed to be in the last stages of its life cycle, having burned all the hydrogen in its core. So, will we get to witness Betelgeuse's explosion? If we could live another thousand years, then yes. What a spectacle it would be to witness, right?